start filming and Nora's licking her butt. What's up guys? It's Mimi. I'm here today for a video because I bought <clears throat> three different cosplays for Shangling. Can you guess I like her? Huh? Since it's three cosplays, I think I'm gonna try and speed run the thing because we ain't got all day. So to start off, I'm actually wearing Doki Doki's wig right now. As you can tell, I really like it. It's just this thing that keeps moving around. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it more stable, because it's not. Other than that, the color is perfect. I love it. Alright, so I'll start with the first one. The first one I got is her original costume, and I just had to. So here's the dress. It starts like this. It has the small details. This, it really needs some ironing, oh my god. But it's all printed on, it's really pretty. And what I really liked about this one is the back here. This is really stretchy. I don't mind that it's not like really like that in game, but it makes sure that I it would fit me since I don't make it. And yeah, I think it, I think it has a little touch of cuteness. I don't know, I like it. So here's the collar. Overall, it's not really a uh, great quality. It's okay. There's a bit of a default here. Like there's this scratch here. Oh my god, this ugh, this side is so ugly. Ew. Ugh. I wasn't sure if I wanted to mention where I bought this because I didn't want to encourage them because they made me really mad. But since it's dirty, it's from Uowo. And if you want to know why I'm angry at them, click here to watch it. There's the gloves. It's made of a little bit stretchy pleather, so it fits. And there's this part that goes on top of it. It has Velcro. Like this. I think it's pretty cool, but it's not attached, so um, you might want to maybe add a Velcro over here so it doesn't separate. Hello, Nora. Kiss you, my belle. You want to say hi? Ooh, chico baby. So, gloves. Good. There's these things here. One goes... Nora! <laughs> okay. Take three. It's made of stretchy fabric and the black is just printed on it. There's a hole here. It's kind of well made. It does the job. Now I present to you the panties. Because these are... These aren't shorts. These are panties. I've tried them on. They go super high up and like my butt is out. My butt is always out with these costumes. I know someone is going to be happy, but I mean. So this goes really high up. It's a it's like a high-waisted bikini. Um, but I thought I was getting shorts. So this is bad. And this is also freaking tight. I don't know what's wrong with the pants thingies all the time, but the pants are always too tight. Like my butt showing and it's too short. Always a great thing. The same thing with the back of the shirt. There's this here to make it more fittable. And you can get in by unzipping on the side. Like this. But yeah, I hate the pants. I'm gonna remake them. Next part is these thingies. This one goes on her arm and this one on her uh, leg. Um, it's really just uh, braided and there's a Velcro. Uh, but yeah, here's a close-up of the... Is it just me or is this one more orange and this one is more like light red? They're not the same color! Yay! The next part is the back bow. This is really huge. Sorry for the noise, but there's... I jiggle jiggle at the end so I can't help it. Um, it's tied to the belt that goes around her waist. It's all like a zigzag stitch everywhere to do the details. I think it's a shiny uh, pleather and it's with a zipper, a uh, zipper, it's with a <laughs> velcro that you tie it around your waist. On the bow it does have some interfacing, inner, interfacing. There's a pattern printed over it and oh now you see it. Ooh, and it's pretty. But what I don't like is here there's a lot of weird stitches. It's just really weird and I don't know, it feels really sloppy. So there is this bell here and I'm sorry it's going to make noise. <laughs> 
Oh no, the bell is a bit... Mm. There's a chip here. There's... This part is chipped. There's the stars over here. And it, it actually... I'm gonna be so annoying. And there's these tassels that are a mess. What is this? So bunched up together. So big. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what it looks like. But there's one main reason I bought this one. is because the guoba on her is just so perfect. Like, he's just so adorable. He's actually a plushie. And his face is just right. It's really thick too. Like, I... I it's the best plushie that I saw for Guoba. A little bell too. And it has a tassel. Like this accessory is just... And the pin is actually sewed on. It's not just glued. Yay! We like that. She has a lot of different tassels here and there. Like this. And it's like braided. There's this here that's already broken a bit. Like this is supposed to be glued on here. So there's this part here that's pretty cute. The tassels are actually pretty. Oh, I have something to repair it. Yay, they included a glue stick. This is really bad. What the hell is this? This is fraying so much. This is just not pretty. And it, you can see the edges here are starting to fray too a little bit, like this. So same thing with this bow. There's just this ribbon that keeps fraying. It's really ugly, but the rest of the bow is okay. There's this little patch with the guoba paw that's really nice. It holds with this in the back and it's sewed on. So this is nice. And there's this vision. Um, this one is also dirty. Ugh. Like, there's a lot of, I don't know if you can see, but it just, there's a bit of, like, brown spot. Oh, no, this is, like, really bad. Look, there's some glue here over the vision. Um, but the gem is pretty. The, the contour of it is also really nice. It doesn't light up like the Doki Doki ones. Um, but, I mean, it's still okay. And the last things for this costume is the small little accessories she has. This. They're what they look what are they the different colors too? This one looks lighter than this one, right? And there's more little patches for the Guoba thingy. I think this one goes on her hair, here or here. So to give a note to this one, I would give it a 7 out of 10, 6, 6 and a half out of 10. There is a few things that were dirty, there is a few choices of fabric that I think was really poor, and these are always falling off, like this is really too big, like what the hell? <laughs> also the leg part of this is also falling too, and like bows are fraying, stuff that are falling apart. Um, the really one thing that I love the most is the guoba on the costume. Uh, the pants are also not pants. They are freaking high-waisted bikini shorts. I'm just feeling my butt going out right at this moment. Like, it's not even a joke. I, I have a bit of a trouble breathing right now because they're so tight. Because they go up over here. And the front part also of the pants are way too high up. It's really intense. And like... As you can see, it's really, like, I just adjusted the booty here, but we still see a lot of bottom butt cheeks. And this is just so high up, like, I had to hide my underwear on. And, uh, yeah, the pants are a big no-no. Oh, I forgot, I also bought the shoes. So the boots are really nice. All the details, it's all sewed on. This stays up. What I love about these ones is that they have the hole in the front. I saw a few versions of the boots that they just had a white thing here instead of having the hole. Unzip it from the back and fit your feet in it. And on the inside, there's a sole and it's actually comfy. And yeah, like there's a little heel and 
I think they look really good. Okay, the next costume, I just thought it was so adorable. And it's really simple and I thought I could also just wear the sweater every day because it's cute. And it's a, more like a comfier version of Shangling. This is gonna be really short for this one because there's just two pieces for this costume. So it has this here, this sweater. Have fun. And there's Guaba, and it, he's all like soft on here. It's really cute. This, on the other hand, is a miss. I don't know what's the material, but it feels like plastic. And it's just, yeah, I'm gonna definitely change these because this is all so dirty. The texture of the fabric feels like not something comfy for a sweater. It's really wrong on the material choice. But I guess since they had it printed, that's what they got. Anyways, it's really thin and like it looks like the picture, but this is really not a sweater-ish uh, fabric that you would normally use. It's so thin and it's made of polyester. It's an even thinner material for just this here. Yeah, the fabric choice is definitely a miss, but it still looks cute. So on photos, it's going to be good. But I'm not going to wear this sweater on a daily basis like I thought I would. And the next piece is the jacket, is the sweater, the cardigan. And it's made of the same material. It was made so it was printed out. Um, it looks like this. I don't know if this was intentional. I wasn't expecting this kind of material. It's really not comfortable and it's more, it's really costumey feel. But there's these details on the front. This is fake pockets. It's just printed. It's not. Yeah. And it says little raccoon. With a little bell with Koba. And there's this little pin. This is cute. <laughs> and it actually is uh, buttons. So you can button it up and wear it. And the inside is really a thin. <laughs> fin thin blue fabric so yeah that's it for that one so I have this one on yay and yeah like I said it's uh, really not the comfy materials, but it's cute and uh, it does the job. It looks good on pictures and on videos, but that's about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna rate this costume a 7 out of 10 because the fabric is really a bad choice. It does the job, like it. I do look like a casual Shangling, but yeah, I still like it. Last but not least, very not the least, but because it's probably my favorite from the three of them. It's a made outfit for Shangling. It's so cute, I had to buy it. There's a lot of bells on that one, so I apologize in advance. It's really gonna galing galing, shang galing. <laughs> Get it? A bell goes galing, shang galing. This is an exclusive on their website and it's really pretty. I had a lot of comments on the other costumes, but this one is really, really better quality and prettier. I'm gonna put the name of the artist here. So here's the dress. It's really such better quality than the other two. Like this one, I'm just like, wow. There's the little fishies here. Such great quality. The little beads. The little lace. This is like printed over and there's some cups in here so you don't have to wear a bra because anyways the whole back is open and you don't really want a bra to show. So this is the back. It has these to tie on the sides of the costume. It's really pretty as well. Greater quality. There's these beads here. And the apron is really soft and cute. And she ha there's her name embroidered here, like, oh, it's just so cute with all the ruffles. And the skirt has this printed on, just wow. Even the sleeves have like these de details and lace. It's, this one is really, really cute. This goes on her arms. It's really pretty. It's a bit see-through. 
and it's really well finished compared to the other things. There's ribbon here to tie it, and there's this here, and there's the bells at the bottom. Um, they're like the other ones, it has the little stars on it, uh, but it's really shinier. And there's two bows here. So we have this two times for each arms. There's also a, ba a bow on the back, and this one is so much prettier. Look how full it is. And it's just, wow, the, the fabric is shiny. The, it's, I, wow, this one is just great. But it ties only with this in the back. This is glued on it in the back and that's a uh, but guess we'll sew it on it also comes with these little socks that also has bells but these are different bells like as you can see these ones have like holes everywhere and it's a different color okay so these are the socks there's a little patch that goes on her apron um, but I, what I don't like about it is I, I don't understand why they didn't just sew it on but it's glued with a pin in the back and the pin is just really <laughs> not pointy so and the fabric for the apron is so fragile you're gonna rip it so please do not use this pin to put it on your apron because you're gonna ruin it i'm a bit disappointed for the patch though because there's a lot of imperfections like I, there's just a lot of threads everywhere like this and this this like eh. yeah it's it's cute from afar and there's this that goes on her head there's other bells here there's a tassel there's the little bows this one is just really cute this is really well made and the last part is the same like these bells are also not the same color <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's a bigger piece here. I'm sorry for the noise. And there's these two really long tassels. Wow, so pretty. Um, but yeah, that's the last piece of the costume. They were also giving away for people that bought the made costumes, like this little standee here. It's really cute. It's what the design is. The only thing is on my order, I ordered two made cosplays, one for Mona for my friend and the Shangling one for me and we only got one for the character but where is the Mona one? Let's put it all on! This is so annoying <laughs> um okay so i'm in the costume the big issue i have with it is the sound oh my god i'm gonna have to remove the little bells from all of them because it's really really annoying like everything what everything i move makes a sound so yeah and the other thing is that the dress is too short it is too short, we're gonna see my butt. But to give it a note, I really love it. So I'm gonna go for nine out of 10 for this one. The quality is so much better than all of the other costumes I've tried on today. The patch was a bit lazy, but other than that, everything is adorable. I just, I love it so much, it's so cute. Okay, for the French word of the day today, I'm going to go with something you heard a lot today, and it's clochette. 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 Clochette means bell. But it's not any bell. It's really the small ones. Like the clochettes are really small, and a cloche is a big bell, like ding, 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 ding. Like a, a wedding bell, that's a cloche. But clochettes, are the small giling giling ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There was a few hit and misses on this video for different costumes, but overall I'm really satisfied with the costumes, even if there's a few things I have to change. Minor or major. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye!